In this video we're going to take a look at some more GCSE indices. Here we're taking a look at three more laws of indices. First one is A to the negative M. If we have this situation we take the reciprocal and so it becomes 1 over A to the M. Uh, A to the power of 0, anything to the power of 0 is going to give us 1. And lastly A to the power of M over N is going to give us um, A root n raised to the power of m. Um, that looks quite confusing that one, we'll talk about that in a bit more detail in just a second. Okay so six examples using these three laws. Here the first one I've got 3 to the negative 2. So first off all that I'm going to do I'm going to take the reciprocal of 3. The reciprocal of 3 gives us 1 over 3. When I do that it becomes a positive power. So that negative 2 turns into a positive 2 when we take the reciprocal. So 3 to the negative 2 is going to give us 1 over 3 squared and so we get 1 ninth. Next up we've got 2 thirds raised to the power of negative 3. <clears throat> in this video, um, in this example we're just going to take the reciprocal again so we get 3 halves. When we do that, um, the negative 3 becomes a positive. So we've got 3 cubed. 3 cubed is going to give us 27. And then um, 2 cubed is going to give us 8. So our final answer will be 27 over 8. Next one, we've got 3 to the power of 0. 3 to the power of 0 is just going to give us 1. Remember that anything to the power of 0 is going to give us 1. In this example we've got 5y to the power of 0. So what we could say here is that 5y to the power of 0 is the same as 5 multiplied by y to the power of 0. We just found out a moment ago that um, anything to the power of 0 is 1. So what we could say is that that is 5 multiplied by 1 and so that will give us 5. Next we've got 36 to the power of a half. So this is going to give us the root um, of the bottom number. So it's going to give us 36 and that is going to be a square root raised to the power of 1. Well when we raise to the power of 1 it, it stays as it is. So it's just going to be the square root of 36 and that's going to give us an answer of 6. Next we've got 27 to the power of 2 thirds. So here we take the 27 and that's going to be cube rooted because we have a 3 as our denominator. So we are cube rooting it this time and then we raise it to the power of the numerator so we square that. So the cube root of 27 is going to give us 3 and so what we end up with is 3 squared and so our final answer there would be 9. Um, what I suggest you do now is pause the video and attempt these six practice questions um, and then once you've answered them press play and the answers will come up on the next page which I'm going to click on to now.